Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can incorporate Stripe into MailerLite so that you can use sales pages and take payments really easily. So I'm going to share my screen and go on to MailerLite. And from the dashboard, you want to go to the top where it says your name, go down and you want to click on integrations. From here, you're gonna scroll down. You can see all the ones that you can integrate with and I want to use Stripe. So I'm gonna click on that. It will tell you to connect. Um, it will tell you to add the button, blah, blah, blah. So what we want to do first is just connect with Stripe. So we want to choose the account. So I've got three Stripe accounts. I don't particularly know why. So I'm just gonna connect that one. So I'm just gonna hit on connect and then it will take you back to MailerLite. So then it tells you what to do. So click add a product. So you want to go to Stripe. So if I actually open Stripe on here, um, first go to my dashboard and then you will be able to see I have products. Um, so I have all of these different products that I have created over time. Um, they may have been recurring products, they may have been memberships, but I have all of these different products that I have used. So you want to make sure that you want to create a product. So say you're doing a membership, um, so you want to create a recurring product, so it'll be membership fee, and you can just call it a membership fee. You would just go down pricing information, it'll be standard pricing, it's keeping at the same time, and say it's 10 pound a month. Um, it's a recurring payment, it's monthly, don't need to worry about ID and then don't need to add another price, you can just click on save product. So you've got a product then created. So you can then go back into MailerLite. So then you can go onto your landing page and then you can drag in a one-time purchase or a recurring purchase block. So if I go onto my sites, I can just go here, yeah, I'll just go onto a testing one. You can add content so you can add the blocks. Um, a bit of a go slow there we go so if we go into blocks and then if you go down you will see payments down here somewhere um one time purchase or recurring purchase so in order to use the button you do need to pay for mailer light but you would literally just drag that in um to as so you click on that drag it in and add a button it's not letting me do it there you go probably not letting me do it because i don't have the pro site there you go or did it do it? Yeah, by now. And so that is how you would use it. But like I say, you need to make sure that you have it set up. So make sure that you're using the pro version of that. Let me just click on save. And then once you've got that pro set up, you'll be able to do that. And then you would be able to incorporate that payment button on your site. Hope that helps.